Since 1984, TELUS World of Science Edmonton has been inspiring kids, families, and adults. The roots of the Science Centre date back to Canada's first planetarium, the Queen Elizabeth Planetarium, which opened in 1960 in Edmonton's Coronation Park. By the 1970s, it became clear there was a demand in Edmonton for something greater, and planning began on the Edmonton Space Sciences Centre. After opening its doors in 1984, the Science Centre saw a strong demand from schools and the public, and expanded in 2001 to increase its capacity. The feature gallery was added in 2012, and today, the TELUS World of Science Edmonton remains a popular destination for families, school groups, tourists, and anyone looking to become inspired and enjoy learning in a hands-on, entertaining environment. Yet, the story of Edmonton's Science Center isn't one about a building or an exhibit. The story is about the impact the Science Center has on our community. I was inspired to become an IMAX cameraman in this theatre. In 1984, I had just started dating Susan. I think we had been dating for a month. And I was trying to think of um, something different to do for a date. I didn't know what it was. I had heard IMAX and I thought it sounded interesting, it sounded big. So we saw our first uh, IMAX film here on that date many years ago. And um, at the end of the film, I, did, I said that I wanted to make IMAX movies. Essentially, the, uh, the experience of seeing a movie in this, this theater and then being inspired to shoot these movies, it, uh, it completely set the stage for my life uh, because I then followed through and I've, I've specialized exclusively in the IMAX and IMAX 3D formats. And so it's always fun to come back and see movies in this theater because it, it really is one of the, the cornerstones of what my life became. I'm going to try this. Oh, I'm going to try this, actually. Woo! Oh, there it goes. Discovery-based learning is really where students get to create meaning from what they are learning and from their experiences. And the Science Centre provides that opportunity because they get a chance to actually touch things, handle things, and really experience things in an immersive way. It's going to make a tornado. Exactly. Hands-on is extremely important to students. Uh, lectures have their place, but to actually go out and see and touch and feel something for most students is the part that opens it right up to them. The Science Centre is above and beyond what we can teach in the classroom. The balls, I like the watching the balls going down. I enjoy coming here. There's a lot of things that we can do here that we can't do in the classroom. Engaging within the community is so important for students and coming to the Science Centre is a great way for that to happen. This is the best place ever. For more than 30 years, the Science Centre has been anchored by Canada's largest planetarium, the 23-metre dome of the Margaret Ziedler Star Theatre. As the region's population continues to grow, so has attendance and demand on our programs. Discoveryland, our early childhood development gallery, is a powerful learning tool. Yet it reaches capacity on those days when families need indoor programs for their children. The Science Centre has the smallest footprint of all the major science centres in Canada, yet we have more annual visitors per square foot than any other. The demand for more programming and learning is strong, and our centre needs to grow and reflect our community needs. The Aurora Project allows TELUS World of Science to rise above with increased capacity in new exhibition spaces and re-energized programs with a northern focus. The North Star Dome will transform the planetarium into a state-of-the-art digital visualization theater where we can take audiences from the outer edges of the universe to the core of the atom, or inner workings of the human heart. A new Arctic gallery will be a gateway to the North as we connect our visitors with engaging, hands-on exhibits and activities that explain the complex issues facing the circumpolar North. An expanded early childhood learning center will stimulate learning and development for an even greater number of our children. Updated galleries on space science, engineering, mathematics and technology will inspire audiences as they gather to create, invent, learn and share. Well, if you have a space and science center, it's got to be current. 
we're not running a museum of science. We're running science and technology for today. We continue to grow. And uh, I think the 600,000 visitors we had last year is a testament to the value of the center. TELUS World of Science is an excellent facilitator of the promotion of science awareness. It's an excellent facilitator of inspiring people to get involved in science. You have to reach out to all the other people who, who might follow the same path, whether it's um, an interest in filmmaking from an IMAX screen or an interest in science or in space. Um, the science centers really have the capacity to, to make an impression on young impressionable minds as uh, evidence. We want our students to be engaged and ethical and entrepreneurial and we want them to be excited about what they're learning. They get excited about what we're doing and so I get excited as well. So it's a really great place for me to bring my students. And I think the biggest satisfaction you get is to wander through the center when the kids and the parents are here and see how much they're enjoying the center. This is a world-class facility. The Aurora Project enables us to transform lives and inspire discovery. The $40 million project is underway with $12 million in capital funds from the City of Edmonton. Your support is needed. Join us as we bring the Aurora Project to life and transform lives in our community. Thank you.